After months of searching, multiple surgeries, and a miraculous reunion, Ziggy the dog is finally home with his family tonight. His family sent us this picture this afternoon. Uh, Ziggy ran away from his Argyle home earlier this year and was found months later by Clay County Animal Control. But when Channel 4 profiled the dog in a recent story, his real owners came forward. Today, Scott Johnson sat down with that family reunited. This is the day the family has waited for, to be able to take Ziggy home. They showed up today to re-adopt the family dog after showing Animal Care all these photos of his life to prove they were the rightful owners. I never gave up. He was found by Animal Control abandoned and had apparently been caught up in a dog fighting ring, then just dropped off somewhere in clay. And our profile on the dog is where Mendez saw him on Facebook. In the first little clip of his face, I knew it was him. I knew it. Was I started screaming. I even woke up my cousin and said, look, look, this is him. It has to be him. I fell to the floor with him and started crying and just couldn't believe what he'd been through. This was an emotional day for the family because of how Ziggy appeared when they saw him in the promo. He's underwent a few surgeries since and now is well enough to go home. Everybody kept saying God is good. God is good. You know, because if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't know if we would see him again. You know, he's, he's, he's a member of the family, you know, and from puppy to now his size, we've had him and showed him love. And now this family can take the dog home who may have been beaten but he's still got a great personality. I raised him in a household to love the kids, love your family, and be a protector, not a fighter. And because the surgeries are so expensive to repair what happened here, Friends of Clay County Animals will be out thousands of dollars that they help raise for animals like Ziggy so they can get surgeries. If you'd like to help the group out, get some of that money back, they take donations. We put a web link at newsforjacks.com.